Welcome everyone. Let's take a look at how can we create a contact glue when we do not have the automatic option available to us. Here we are working with a, an orphan mesh and that is why the automatic glue is not available. Therefore we manually have to enter it. We have this UAV and I have a few areas on it where there is giving us problems. So. I used uh, RBE2 rigid body elements to fix some of the problems but I have another area right here we have this area right here that is uh, kind of simulating the landing gear and then we have the main fuselage and here we have a crack okay and I want to join these two together but as you can see all the elements, all the nodes on this landing gear are already connected to uh, a master node right here. So these yellow ones, they are RBEs, rigid body elements. So if I would create another rigid body element, taking the nodes from here and a few maybe from the fuselage and joining them, it will give us errors because all these nodes if we made them dependent or followers of this node they cannot become dependent or follower of another one so we cannot apply those here so therefore I'm gonna apply a glue I'm gonna glue these two together now we run into another problem because this is an orphan mesh we do not have a geometry you see if I turn the geometry on and off there's nothing there if I turn the mesh off then you can see the elements disappear. So since we are working with an orphan mesh, if I go to connect our usual preferred method of using the automatic glue is not available. Therefore we need to enter it in manually. Okay, For that I'm gonna come right here on the left side to the model info, open connections and we have three areas the properties regions and connectors we're going to start with properties right click and new a window's going to open i'm going to call it my glue right here select glue some options going to show up we can leave it glue type as weld we are dealing with the aluminum for this one so weld is fine uh, search distance uh, let's do glue factor of one and the search distance well that is gonna we're gonna have to measure it click on this uh, measuring and measure whatever you are working on so let's get in here oh, right here and as you can tell this is what I'm trying to fix see the there's a gap over here so I'm trying to figure this out let's see the glue uh, it needs to search for things to glue together in a maximum distance of what? That's what we're gonna determine right now. So let's do locate, click uh, here, let's say, okay, and another right there, okay, and we have a distance of 1.6, okay. So since this is the distance, looks like uh, it's kind of pretty good representative of what kind of air distances we have here. So let's just put in a distance of two. Okay, there you go. So I have my glue set up. I can click OK. And if you cancel that, or if you go back to the model tree, you can see here's your glue. Right click and edit and you can come back and fix whatever you like. Or sometimes if uh, you run your glue and it didn't work, it might be because your distance is bigger than what you put here. So you might have to change that. Okay. All right. We're done with that. So now comes the regions. We need to define what regions we want glued together. So right click connection region. There you go. And here it comes. Uh, so I'm going to define um, a master region and a dependent region. Okay. So first I'm going to call it, I don't know, one A. A is going to be my master and B is going to be the dependent one. Uh, so there you go. So let's uh, I think actually I'm going to do a clipping plane here so I can see better. 
there you go now I can see inside it better sometimes you can select these easier so master region I'm gonna have the landing gear be the master and the fuselage be the uh, follower the independent and dependent so 1a the masters so I'm gonna pick a few of these so deformable elements not surfaces we don't have a geometry here we're dealing with a mesh orphan mesh and here again define defined by not surfaces but elements and add multiple I'm gonna add multiple and individual faces there you go now we can a a put uh, the elements that we want in that little box so let's pick them this one this one this one and this one make sure uh, you don't accidentally pick the wrong f uh, different faces so if I would pick like see uh, an edge face 5 and this will give you an error don't mix in different kind of faces it will freak out so get rid of the different one so where did we leave off if you forgot highlight there you go those are good so okay this one is good enough okay now see orange that region turned orange so that one is marked now let's set up the other side to uh, what was it one but this time B I'm gonna call it B these one fine leave it as is and add multiple again now I'm gonna add these this 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 and I think these kind of go out yep these go over the other side so let me add these ones to this 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 and this okay there you go you can change the color if you don't like the one that it uh, works with for me that's fine again all the same faces good okay and cancel that out now we have two regions right right here one a one b now the glue is not done yet now we have to actually create the connector go to connector right click in new I'm gonna call it area one because that's one one and property my glue you can create uh, whatever color you want and master slave target or source okay so the master we said it's gonna be the one a the slave it's gonna be one b uh, and that's it and you can click OK and as a confirmation that things have been glued together you can see the glue symbol appear this is the glue symbol it, it means it was nice it was created right we have the glue created and there you go well, that should do it and you can keep proceeding and do the next one next one next one next one alrighty that should do it thank you for watching like and subscribe have a good one